Hello everyone and happy Transfer Tuesday. Transfer Tuesday is the day of the week where we move our money in the right direction no matter which financial goal we are going after and no matter how much we can afford to transfer or contribute. You can also make a transfer or contribution any day of the week but quite a few of us here on YouTube make these Transfer Tuesday videos and I typically make a transfer on this day but also share anything I've done over the last week. I am in a new filming location, not sure how I feel about it yet, but I'm sure it will grow on me. I don't love this like empty, empty bookshelf. This bookshelf is all of the books that I own that I have read. Uh, well, these are all down here as non-fiction books. Up here are all the fiction books that I've read. And then I have a shelf over there which has all of my books to be read. And I, there might be more over there. There's easily over 50 books that I have that I have not read. So I don't like this empty spot. Looks like I need to be reading more. <laughs> I did rearrange my office though. I don't know if any of y'all are people who like frequently rearrange things or like get this itch to change things around, but this is the third time I've changed, actually probably the fourth time I've changed the layout of my office and I feel like this one will stick. Like I think this works much better with all the stuff that I have in here. Uh, also it was a pain to move so I was like, okay, this will, I'm gonna try to keep this around for some time. But anyways, let's talk about my transfers from the last week. I think I only have one so far and that might be the only one. I don't know that I'll make a transfer today. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so I did make one transfer over the last week and this was because of direct support. Last Wednesday, October 16th, I received an email from Buy Me A Coffee that Natalie B bought me three coffees and Natalie said, thank you so much for the work you do. I automate my money, but I decided to start doing manual investments on Tuesday. Thank you for the inspiration. First of all, thank you so much for the three coffees. That's equivalent to about $15. I'm gonna talk about what I did with that in just a moment. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate your support, Natalie, and I love that you already have everything set up on auto savings, but also to be adding in more investing, more saving to that is gonna get you really far. So I think Transfer Tuesdays are really impactful. Uh, this is something that I picked up from Mary from Penny's Not Perfection. So I don't, she doesn't do Transfer Tuesdays anymore as of recently, but I've been doing this for years. She did it for years as well. Many other people have as well. This is how I was able to pay down my debt faster. This is how I was able to save more, invest more, because even small amounts, the more frequently you pay down debt, the more frequently you save or invest, the more time that money is working for you. So, you know, if you pay down high interest debt a few times in the month, you're gonna be saving more on interest each time you pay some debt down, even if it's just five, $10. Same with investing or saving. If I'm putting money to my high yield savings account, all the days, the whole week that my money is in that account, it is gaining interest. Or if I have it invested, then that money is just compounding. That's why I always say even small amounts matter. If $1, $2, $5, $1,000, whatever it is that you can do, it makes a huge difference. So anyways, all of that to say, I'm glad you started making some transfers, Natalie, and I appreciate the three coffees. So I decided I would invest that money. I was gonna put it toward my emergency fund, but I was like, I really just want this invested because the market is doing really well right now. And I just, I, I want to put more money into investments. Um, I've realized that one of my big goals for next year is I want to hit a certain number invested. Obviously, I'll talk about that when I go through my 2025 financial goals. But yeah, I just want more money invested. So uh, I've saved a little bit this month and I didn't. Did I add anything else to my brokerage this month? Let's see. Okay, so I had done 15 earlier this month and then some. I added some back to my emergency fund. But I did go ahead and invest that $15 into my brokerage account with Vanguard. And all of that bought VGT, which is Vanguard's information technology fund. And I'll pop the screenshot of that purchase up on the screen, but it bought me about 0 0.0249 shares of VGT. And you'll see $15 and four cents because I had about four cents in my settlement fund. So yes, very exciting to be adding a little bit more there. And I recently got over 10,000 in that account and the market has been way up lately. And I don't know if it's gonna stay that way, but happy to be investing no matter what. Now, like I said, I would typically make a transfer on Tuesday as well toward one of my financial goals and that would be putting money toward my emergency fund. But I think today I, I'm not gonna make any further transfers. I was just thinking like, oh, maybe I'll do five dollars but even that right now if i'm looking at my bank account and i have a couple of credit cards that i need to pay off i i purchased like 
things that I need to pay for and groceries and stuff like that. And then I don't get paid until the final day of October. So quite a bit out from that. And based off of what I have in my current personal checking account, even $5 might be too much right now. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Still happy that I was able to make a transfer even though it was a smaller amount. Thank you again to Natalie for making that happen. But whatever it is that you did today to move your money in the right direction, please comment that down below. But otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one.